Hi everyone! So I am here today with a video on what I brought on the Inca Trail with me. I will leave a list of everything in the description box down below and I will indicate the items that I brought that I didn't end up using. There were a few things including the lotis. My husband and I took the classic Inca Trail so it's basically four days of hiking and three nights of camping. It is an incredible experience so if you are about to embark on that journey I hope you will have an amazing time. That being said let's jump right into the footage that I recorded the night before we left for the Inca Trail. In terms of my day pack, I'm going to be bringing my Fjall Raven Kankin. This is a very basic and light backpack. I've worn it a ton to and from work, so I'm used to the shoulder straps. I know it's not a trekking backpack, but it works really well for me. And now I'm going to show you what I will be putting inside. The most important item to bring is your passport. You won't get on the Inca Trail without it. I have my husband's passport as well as my own. I normally keep them in a little passport holder. However, to save on weight, I've removed them and I'm just going to be carrying both passports in my bag. This little Harrods pouch houses my cash as well as my credit cards and my debit card. Just feel more comfortable having all of that on me. This will be in my day pack at all times. This is the little seat cushion that comes with my Fjall Raven Kankin. I have the G1000 model which is essentially the original Kankin but with the leather straps and a more padded and sturdy cushion. So I'm going to be bringing this with me because it provides me with a little bit of back support and if I need to take a rest I can pull it out and use it as a little cushion. These are my my reusable water bottles. They're actually Tea Shop 168 bottles. The reason I chose these bottles is because they have a really wide mouth, so I figured they'd be really easy to fill. I'm bringing two and my husband is also bringing two. Each of these holds about 800 milliliters of water. These are the medications and first aid items that I'll be bringing with me in my day pack. I have some alcohol wipes, a variety of different band-aids. I have some anti-diarrhea medication, some gravol, some Tylenol for headaches, and also some allergy medication. I'm not bringing too many snacks or things of that nature for the first day. I don't think I'm really going to need them because our hotel is providing us with a boxed breakfast and we're going to be getting breakfast from our tour company. I'm just packing some gum, some mints, a couple of lemon candies from the hotel, a little tiny bag of Lay's potato chips, these are really small, and some honey crackers. Kleenex and toilet paper are a must, so I have a flattened roll of toilet paper and I also have a little pack of Kleenex. I'm going to be bringing some wet ones which are antibacterial wipes, some antibacterial hand gel, sunscreen which is extremely important because the sun is so strong here, as well as some insect repellent. In terms of my beauty essentials, I'm bringing some blotting papers and a whole bunch of lip products. I'm bringing some Vaseline, the most important one is the Jack Black Lip Balm, which has SPF 25. I'm bringing a Nivea Lip Balm, the Dior Lip Glow, as well as the Tarte product, which functions almost exactly the same as the Lip Glow. It goes on clear, but turns a little bit of a light pink on my lips. The majority of these products are going to go in my little makeup bag. I'm also going to be bringing my Glim Bag, and this is going to house the medication as well as the Band-Aids. If you've watched a bunch of my videos, you'll know that I like to do travel cards for each of my trips. I'm keeping with me the travel card for tomorrow and then I have a map of the Inca trail and a pen in case I need to take any notes. I'm bringing my small DSLR fitted with the 50mm 1.8 lens as well as my iPhone. I'm also bringing my point and shoot which I'm using to record this video and of course the batteries for both cameras will be fully charged and I'm going to empty my memory cards before starting the trek and my iPhone is also going to be fully charged. My hubby and I are going with a tour company called Alpaca Expeditions and they gave us these items to use during our trek. The item on the left is a poncho in case it rains and the item on the right is a day pack cover again in case it rains. So now moving on to the items I'll be wearing or using during my trek. I'm going to be bringing my hiking poles, my sunglasses, as well as my sun hat. Here is what I'm going to wear for the first day of the hike. I've got of course my hiking boots and my hiking socks as well as my sports bra and my underwear which are both up here. I'm going to be wearing a pair of tights and a sleeveless top because it is supposed to be rather warm tomorrow during most of the hike. Over top of that because it is a little bit chilly in the morning I'm just going to be wearing my rain jacket. It has a hood. All of our belongings need to fit into this duffel except for the stuff we're carrying in our day pack. The total weight of this duffel cannot exceed seven kilograms and that includes the sleeping bag. It does get really chilly in the evening so I'm bringing 
bringing a pair of long johns as well as a thicker pair of pants to sleep in. I'm bringing a heat tech shirt from Uniqlo and a warmer shirt to layer on top of that. I'm also bringing a scarf and a light down jacket. Here are the other trekking clothes I'll be bringing. I'm bringing one other pair of tights, three long sleeve tops, one has a hood, one short sleeve top, and one additional sleeveless top. Finally, in terms of apparel, I'm bringing three pairs of underwear and a sports bra, my bathing suit, three pairs of hiking socks, my Crocs to wear on the campsite, a pair of gloves, and a warm hat. I'll be packing a microfiber cloth, some extra rolls of toilet paper, four extra packs of Kleenex, I'm bringing some baby wipes, and some facial wipes. Here are all of the products I'll be bringing. Starting from the top left corner, I'm bringing some additional sunscreen, some anti-chafing gel, some antibacterial hand cream, stellar facial oil, my eye cream, I've got my deodorant, my moisturizer with SPF, Benefits Professional, my concealer, my Anastasia Brow Wiz, mascara, my Maybelline Dream Matte Powder, a toothpaste, nail clippers, tweezers, a mini bar soap from the hotel, my toothbrush, and some Q-tips. And I'm packing all of this in this toiletries pouch over here. Next up, I have some hair products and the rest of our medication. I've got my dry shampoo, a puff, a comb, a few hair ties, some shampoo just in case. I've got our Diamox, which helps with altitude sickness, some medication for severe diarrhea. I have my Latisse with three sets of disposable brushes. I have some Lysine, which helps to prevent cold sores. Here is the last of the stuff that I'll be packing in my duffel. I've got my iPhone cord, my headlamp. My husband has the extra batteries for the headlamp. It's also fully charged. Battery charger for my phone, as well as the cord for that. These are protein bars and energy bars that I may or may not need during the trek, and I have the rest of my travel cards. For all of our belongings that will go in the duffel, we were asked to pack them in plastic bags, so I've got a bunch of plastic bags here. I'm also gonna pop a couple of these in my day pack for garbage and such. So that is it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. I did end up using 90% or probably over 90% of the items that I brought. The one item that I didn't bring that I wish I had was my sleep mask. So I had this sleep mask with me when I was in Peru, but for some reason when I was packing for the Inca Trail, I decided not to bring it. I considered it, but I thought, you know, why bring the extra weight? This weighs close to nothing, so I don't know why I thought that at all. You don't really need this when you're on the trail because it is very dark because you're camping, but it would have come in handy on the bus transfer to the Inca Trail and also on the bus transfer from the train after the Inca Trail back to Cusco. So I wish I had brought this, but this was the only thing that I didn't have with me that I wish I brought. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any questions for me, please leave them down below and I will do my best to answer. I will be back real soon with another video. Until then, please take care and bye for now!